Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to derive a formula for finding the sine of the difference of two angles. Which means our question is, what is sine of alpha minus beta? We are trying to find this. To make our derivation for this expression, we will start with a formula that I already derived in my previous video. You can find it from the cards right now. It was actually two videos ago. So it wasn't the previous video, but it is one of them. So I proved that sine of alpha plus beta can be expanded as sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus, uh, let's see, sine of beta and then cosine of alpha. And as I said, you can access the derivation of this video from the cards and it is also in the descriptions part. Now, why we, I mean, you might be asking, why did you write this? How will we use this? Well, we will use this because we can let beta to equal negative beta. And if we do that, obviously on the left, we're going to have the expression that we are trying to find. So let's do that. We will have sine of alpha minus beta. And on the right, we will still have sine of alpha but this time, instead of cosine of beta, beta, we will have cosine of negative beta. Okay, this is the uh, this is the important part. And then we have sine of, and instead of beta, we again have negative beta. We put our negative, and then times we still have cosine of alpha. And I mean, we can stop now. We found the formula, but I really don't want to stop here because I don't like that we have negative betas here. I want to have everything in terms of cos, oops, I want to have them in terms of cosine of, uh, in terms of alpha and, and beta, okay? And let's put the alpha again. So how can I do that? Well, to, to do this, we will use a unit circle. So let me draw the unit circle here. The unit circle means that our circle is centered at the origin and the radius of our circle is one. Okay, and if we have the angle beta here, then since we are on a unit circle, the radius is 1, so the x coordinate will give us the cosine of beta and the y will give us sine of beta. Okay, so if I also draw the negative beta, you will understand where I'm going with this, then this is negative beta. As you can see, this point is, let's do it with green cosine of beta, we still have a positive uh, cosine value, positive x value, but this time our y value is reversed. It isn't sine of beta anymore, it is negative sine of beta. It is close, but it isn't the same. So we got this. And well then, we can substitute this, can't we? Let's see. We have sine of alpha times, instead of cosine of negative beta, as we can see from the diagram, we can simply write cosine of beta. So we have cosine of beta. And then we have a plus sign. Instead of sine of negative beta, as we can see from the picture, we will have negative sine of beta. The, uh, only the sign is different. The value stays the same, but it was positive, now it is negative. I mean, it could be, it could have been post negative as well, but don't worry, I'm talking about our picture. Don't confuse yourself, it, if that was confusing. And we still have cosine of alpha. Then this is going to be equal to, I just want to bring this negative sign forward in front. So we have sine of alpha times cosine of beta minus sine of beta and then a cosine of alpha. So this is the formula for finding the sine of the difference of two angles. As you can see, it is a very similar formula for, uh, for uh, it is very similar to the one that we had for the sum. The only difference is that we now have a negative between the terms. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.